The end of a long winter, a blast of snow brought more than a half a foot to areas north of Green Bay and places like Oconto, Marinette and Crivets. Emily Roberts caught up with the people in one of the hardest hit areas, Oconto. It's not gone just yet. You wake up this morning, what do you see when you step outside? Six inches of snow on my car, <laughs> which I wasn't expecting. Look at this, close to seven inches measured in the town of Breed and Washington Island coated. Well, crazy times. <laughs> so what can you do? You know, I mean, the weather's the weather. It's going to do what it wants. Kelly Belanger and friends cozying up with their cups of coffee after brushing their cars off in Oconto. We're just hanging out and snuggling up and staying inside. And next weekend, we'll definitely be outside on this beautiful porch enjoying the 76 degree weather we're going to get. Next weekend, she'll have her tarps out and all the furniture will be out. It'll be just like, here comes spring. Here we are. <laughs> It's a busy fishing season here in Okano, and you can actually see a never ending line of boat trailers here behind me at the Breakwater Park docks. Now, people I spoke to say that the weather might have impacted their walleye catches. Messy, wet, trying to keep dry. It's a chore. John Harvey travels from Illinois to Oconto every weekend in the month of April, trying to take home some walleyes. He says it's a tradition, a little snow can't stop. Well, right now it's windy out. When we first went out, we had six foot waves. You gotta work a little bit harder. It's still just the beginning of the spawn, so we're only just catching some small males, nothing to write home about. Brian McDougall sees the spring storm as a good thing, at least for his garden. This will help it. This will be a, a good boost for all your April showers bring May flowers. You know, that's, that's as the saying goes. In Oconto, Emily Roberts, Action 2 News.